Hi there, Maggie Mae here. And in this video, I'm doing another tipsy taste test. So first, I need some beer. And I've got some. This is from Bessure du Mont in Quebec. Um, local brewery there. Can't read the label, but I'm going to surmise that it's foamy. <laughs> Either way, beer is beer, beer is good. Let's get this started. Because you can't be tipsy without some drink. Check out that point. Skills. Oh, and the glass did come with it as part of its set, so I'm really impressed with that. All right, cheers. Oh, it's very light. It's almost citrusy, I wanna say. It's a little too cold for me to chug now, but I'll get to some of that later. Just wanna to get to a good buzzing place. So I recently come back from my trip to Miami and there I did a bit of gas station shopping and I found some unique snacks that you don't get in Canada. So I brought them back with me and I decided to do a taste test video. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do as much grocery shopping as I wanted down there. So I'm kind of supplementing this video with other snack foods that I found within the lower mainland and some that my friends have purchased for me to try in such videos. So stay tuned as we drink some more and get into our taste test tipsy. Oh, so let's see what we have in store today. Where to start? I think I'm gonna go savory, work my way to sweet, just like a meal. So we're gonna start with the Doritos Flamas. Um, I smuggled this in my luggage and during the closure of said luggage, it popped the air seal. So I'm gonna open it upside down. And the result is a whole bunch of crumbs in my luggage. That's okay, I'm gonna wash it all anyways. As you can see, these chips are super red in color, almost like ketchup chips, but like more neon. Package promises heat with lime, like chili and lime, so. Uh -huh. I'm not quite sure if we have this in Canada. Oh, it's so limey. I like you've got beer. <laughs> That's a good combination. It's all right, your standard Doritos, salty and tangy with lime. I'm not getting the heat I wanted. When it promises me flames, in the name, I kind of want to have tears, like tears in the corner of my eyes. I'm not doing that there. I don't know what my hair is doing, but I'm not not trying today. <laughs> okay, next, we're going to try more chips. Lay's Indian Magic Masala. So a colleague bought this for me, and she thought I'd find it taste interesting. Oh, mm, it smells like dinner. I love a good big chip. Some good texture there. I'm not quite sure what this magic masala is supposed to taste like, but according to the photo, there's chili peppers, garlic, black peppercorns, parsley. I get that in it, but all together, I'm still confused. No expectations. <laughs> but it does make you thirsty. It's not much of a tipsy taste test if I'm not tipsy, so. I'm gonna try to drink more beer as we work our way through. These Lay's Salted egg yolk chips. Salted egg yolk flavor things are really popular in Asia right now. Mm. I smell the salted egg yolk. I'm not getting much color from this. It just looks like a regular chip. Thin texture, some fried air bubbles. I 
A little disappointing. I'm not getting the pop of salted egg yolk. Kind of like the orange egg that you find in the middle of like a jolong or like a moon cake. But very like toned down. A little disappointing. But wash it down with more beer. My beer is good by the way. French Canadian beer. Mm. Got two more bottles in the fridge. Are we still in slavery territory? Mm. Oh, transitioning out of it with my last bag of chips for this video. This is durian flavored. I love durian. Um, I'm born in Southeast Asia where durian is abundant. It falls from trees and you gotta watch your head if you walk underneath the tree. Uh, I, it, it's such a delicious fruit. It just reminds me of home, reminds me of memories, but it's very specific because of the flavor. Or the scent rather. Oh! <laughs> I wish I can get you to smell this, but you can't. It does have that faint, um, pungentness of durian, not the full force that would envelop the room, but whiffing the bag, yeah, you get that kind of like, ugh, what is this, this is rancid. <laughs> and sweet. Taste-wise, I don't know what to make of this. Because it does sort of remind me of durian. but in this weird format. I kind of, I want it to be melty. Really interesting. I don't know if I'll go back for more, but really great idea, fun. Gotta clean that palette. Time to get some more beer. So the box set I was gifted came with two bottles and two collector glasses. So let's move on to number two. This one is blueberry flavored. Same company. Let's give it a pour. Nice amber color. Let's give it a taste. It's a very light, clean beer. I think it sits on your tongue. I'm getting after notes of the fruit, but I wouldn't say it's flavored with like blueberry. Not bad, whatever gets me tipsy. Carrot cake Oreo. New flavor. Probably in time for spring. Mmm. Smells like carrot cake. I'm a fan of carrot cake. And it has the cream cheese frosting. Mmm. Definitely tastes like it. This is really good. Oh, it's gonna go so bad with the beer. Okay. Mm. Oh. oh, not bad. Good choice on my part, picking the blueberry beer to pair with all of the candy. Oh. Truthfully, I'm not playing anything yet, so not so much as a tipsy video, but a uh, burpee <laughs> video. I'm a big fan of Pop-Tarts, um, hot or cold. These I found in a budget gas station. And this one is frosted strawberry with drizzled cheesecake. So it's half half. Candy dandy to go fast. Oh, okay. So, not bad representation on the package. Kind of looks accurate. Let's split this in half and see the difference inside. Oh, it's kind of the same filling, just that the topping is different. All right, don't know how I feel about that. 
taste it. Um, tastes like a good pop chart. Yeah, it's strawberry and cream filling. It's good. We want it warmed up. Yeah, to warm it up. Don't mind my gross poster oven. This is real life, folks. No one has perfectly clean things all the time. Our next Pop-Tart split is drizzled sugar cookie with frosted brown batter. So it should be like a s'moresy kind of center. Once again, two to a pack and due to, oh, ugh, I'm this in my luggage. Everything's kind of falling apart. Let's do the break again. Yep, chocolate center for both pieces. Frosted, drizzled. I like the breading of the pop tart the best. So. It's so good. Oh. The brain is going on. I think that's long enough. Be hot. Woo! Hot. Yeah. Worth it. Mmm. Look at that icing. It's hot. <clears throat> Take some more beer as we let it cool down. Oh. And bon appetit. Definitely pop top warmed up. Might have made a mess, so let's just uh, <laughs> regroup here. Into the sink. Into the sink. There you go. <laughs> Clean enough. Uh, mm. More beer. I decided to show you my view. Not bad, eh? <laughs> mm. Oh! Let's finish off the bottle. <laughs> oh! Feeling a bit now. Got me some TNT. Not gonna lie. Super expensive. I'm a little silly for purchasing them. About $20 a box just because it's imported. And honestly, I think I've tried these before. It's just that they repackage them differently, and I'm a sucker. And I'm like, oh, we can get, let's get these. Let's do the original first. Oh, comes in much nice packaging, much nicer packaging than when I first tried it. No, like rip. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I apologize in advance. I'm definitely feeling the effects of the beer, so I'm getting a little sloppy. I'm not talking about this one now. So <laughs> this is regular sake. Let's see how it tastes. White bar. Yep, it's as, as, as I remembered it to be. It's bitey like sake would be, but more overpoweringly sweet because of the white chocolate. Next we have the salsa plum sake version. First one would be okay. Also white chocolate. Mm. This is prettier flavored. Like, it's 
brighter and tangier and almost florally. I like this a lot better than the original sake version. <sighs> I'm definitely getting lightheaded. I've chugged these beers down pretty fast on an empty-ish stomach, so everything's aces. And I've got two more items to taste test. So let's finish this off and do just that. They're not weird flavors or anything. I just thought they were just so cute. Um, but James Warden Edition Trolley Sour Bite Candies. Got his face on it, so cute. So this is Beard Gummies, modeled from the most beer delicious player in basketball. That's a great endorsement. And these, Sweet Kicks with a Sour Slam. Let's go for the sneakers first. I adore good marketing, and this really is amazing. Got a little bit sticky in my luggage, um, traveling from hot Miami to cold Toronto, and then in, by comparison, neutral Vancouver. So we've got red and silver sneakers. These are the strawberry blackberry flavors. This is lime raspberry and lemon berry punch. Because of the sour sparkles, they look so shimmery. Okay. I love gummies. Out of all the candies, gummies are my favorite candies. I can eat them like handfuls. Oh, that's good. Good chew, good taste. They're fun shaped. Um, who doesn't like the fun gummy? <laughs> Thank you, James Warden. Okay. Let's eat your beard now. Okay. So, it doesn't list the flavors. It's called Weird Beard. We've got three different looks. Oh, can't really tell it's him. You know, it's kind of sticking up from the profile. Orange and green. Red and blue. Yellow and red. I like green for its color and its flavor, so I'll eat this one. It's more sweet. This sour than the other one's more sweet, but it's just fun. Especially if you're a James Gordon fan. Good for him. Dude getting paid. Well, there you have it. That was my tipsy taste test. Um, don't have any more snacks left, but I have one more beer left. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Thanks for watching. And as always, please hit the subscribe button for some more food, fueled fun. And have a great time. I'm still off today. Tomorrow I'll go back to work. So party at 3 p.m. <laughs> Peace, y'all.